This unit is good for 450 square feet and this is good for 600 square feet. Most of the differences are unsurprising like this does get a little bit colder, but there are a few other differences that are worth pointing out as well. Now, both of these units were sent to me so I could make this video. They both work incredibly well. They get your room nice and cold. So here are the things to be aware of. This can go down all the way to 61 degrees. This can go all the way down to 62 degrees, just one degree difference, not a lot. But I did measure the temperatures for both both when they were the coldest. This I saw get about 33 degrees where this was about more like 35, 36. So you've got about a three degree difference where this does get a little bit cooler. Similarly with the fans, this has three speeds, high, medium, and low, and this has two speeds. The top speed for this, I believe was about 20 miles an hour and roughly 16 miles an hour. Whatever I show on the screen is a real number. Let's just say that this can push air out a little bit faster so the air does go out further. So that is why this is rated for the 600 square feet. Obviously, this unit is also bigger and heavier. That does mean it is more difficult to carry and move around, whereas this is actually quite pleasant and easy to move around. Something certainly to consider, especially if you think you might move it a lot. Draining water on the back is the same for both units. You both have a gravity drain on the bottom and on the top, you have a constant drain with tubing if you need to continually drain water, if you're trying to dehumidify or if you're just in a really, really humid area. For the most part, you shouldn't really have to worry about emptying out the water if you're just using it to cool the air. But again, it kind of does depend on the humidity level where you live. Both of these units have filters that you can take out and clean if you need to. They also both come with remote controls that are fairly similar. Aside from the temperature difference, the other main thing that sets these two apart are the control buttons on these two units. This unit just has touch buttons with LEDs to indicate what is going on and this unit actually has physical buttons for you to press. Of the two displays, I actually prefer this. It's a little more obvious what is going on, a, a bit more wording, but they essentially do the same thing, so it's not really a huge deal either way. At any rate, both of these ACs are really cool. You should check them out.